Colin Chevalier from Exact Robotics. So I will present you quickly Trax, which is a new Strato tractor autonomous with a small form, comp form factor. Uh, Trax uh, is differentiated differentiate itself by its uh, by this form factor and a very lightweight uh, solution. It uh, specifically uses uh, standard and reliable tools using hydraulics. So we offer it uh, in tillage version and confined spring version. And uh, first point, third point, we look, worked a lot on the ergonomy and safety to have a very easy end zone uh, for all the drivers. Uh, so we're starting commercial uh, this winter with the tillage version. Uh, and so a few of them will be available uh, for next year, for the season 22. And uh, the spring version will be available uh, for next winter. Hello, I'm Fabienne Arrigno, I'm the CEO of Citia Company. May I introduce you Tractor? Tractor is the first autonomous hybrid uh, tractor. And Tractor exists in three models already. It is dedicated to horticulture and one yard activities. And it is one of the most versatile uh, autonomous machines existing around the world. So it does the job of a tractor, saving a lot of energy, using ex existing implement with hydraulic, electric, and mechanical, of course. And um, we have sold already 15 machines around the world, and uh, you can buy it by for 4,000 euro per month for, uh, for five years engagement. My name is William Guiton. I'm co-founder of uh, Merapi. We are a company developing a scouting robot to monitor and survey uh, feed crops like barley and cereals. Uh, the main, uh, main point to keep in mind is this robot is really lightweight, uh, 15 to 20 kilograms, with a system of spoked wheels that can tape over the crops. So this, this tool is uh, able to go on the crops every week and will be able to pinpoint in, uh, in a intraplot viability where and when you have best diseases and of course with that are developing on your uh, crops. What is it important? It's because uh, farmers will be able to use this information to modulate their inputs and optimize the um, rentability of uh, their farm. Our first unit will be delivered uh, by the end of January beginning of February and uh, globally it will cost around 5,000 uh, euros a year. Hello, I'm Anna Sprinzel, I'm from Agrointelli Germany and I would like to introduce to you uh, our newest robotic which we have introduced here at FIRA in Toulouse and that's the Robotic LR. The Robotic LR it's our newest development which was developed over the last 2-3 uh, years and it's really bringing the robotic technology even more closer for the farmers. Uh, we have hired uh, the lifting capacity for the three-point linkage on this new model so now we can carry the standard implements up to 1250 kilos. Uh, we have also added uh, an extra fuel tank uh, on this new version, which has 330 liters. So we can work with the robotic on the field, uh, depending on the operation, up to 60 uh, hours. Um, this robotic has only one engine. We have kept uh, the classical Kubota engine with 75 horsepower. And uh, we have a new hydraulic system on this robotic, which is from Bosch Rextro. Uh, the new robotic has also redesigned center boom, uh, which is now even more stable. And we have also added a new version of cameras and uh, small improvements, for example, for the refilling from the side, um, which uh, also adds uh, more flexibility for the farmers and for the end users. We still keep uh, also selling and producing the 150D, which is our uh, standard model with the PTO. The new model, the LR, uh, will be produced uh, without a PTO. Therefore, uh, it's for operations uh, which do not require the higher uh, PTO capacity. Um, the 150D uh, will continue, uh, for example, if you want to do um, work like cutting of the grasses uh, or other operations where you need a PTO. But I think uh, the new version, it will be for the operations, for example, for uh, simple harrowing, weeding, or even for uh, seeding, where you actually prefer the longer operation on the field.